Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and I'm here to do your tarot and oracle read for you. Hopefully I can give you some guidance to where you are, but please remember this is a collective read and not all is going to resonate. Please check your moon, your rising and your Venus sign and also your cusp sign for further information if that's something you're interested in. Um, Please use your own discernment. We all have the power of free will and to use your intuition, intelligence and heart space the best way we can to make our decisions. This is a guidance rather than um, what you think of it is going to be. It's going to give you answers, but not the answers you are thinking of. So today I'm going to give you a chakra card, a number card, a colour card and an animal card and also archangel and after that i will do your tarot read and then we'll do a norman read so hopefully all together it will give you some insight to what's going on there we go lovely bit of sage although i don't think this one's sage i think it's time <laughs> but it still smells nice Okay, so let's do your Archangel. See what the Archangel is. This is for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Archangel Zadkiel. Now that's a really good one what I do um, this might work for you it might not but this is what I do if I feel I need an answer to something I listen to my own inner voice um, I think the best way to do it is that you are listening to your own logic if it's not it's your guardian angel it's your spirit guide um, however you want to see this Claire audience is giving you answers okay um, yeah that's all i can say about this this is for the month of november and this is for you to carry that out sagittarius let's see what else we got what color are you color is sagittarius please for the month of november wow oh you got rainbow connect to spirit in nature so yeah, get your answers, have a walk in nature, do some gardening, go for a walk in the woods, go and visit the beach, do something that gets you out of the house and getting some fresh air, okay? The rainbow is a lovely card to have. What a gorgeous, I love that. Follow the rainbow. Hope, rainbows are for hope, aren't they? Okay. So, number, number. Oh, here we go. You've got 63, parenting. Very yellow, very blue energy. Solar plexus and your throat chakra. Both of them are needed in parenting. <laughs> uh, some of you might, might not be parents. Um, you might be want to be parents. Everyone's different. But this is a sign of having to teach another individual and guide them forward. So this is you having to be the parent, being you being the one who has to be the teacher. Um, uh, parenting is challenging. We all know this. If you're needing answers in a way to know how to parent in a situation, whether with a dependent of your own or with other children, or any situation that involves teaching and guiding. It's listen to your inner voice. Listen to what you think it should be. Oh, oh you got the fox. Lovely. Think on your feet. Yeah, absolutely. Think on your feet on this one. You you know how to do it. You are guided forward. Um it's in there, it's in within you to know how to go forward. This is you knowing how to teach. That's it. 
knowing how to guide Sagittarius lovely spirit has a plan with the koala I love the koala look at that koala um spirit does have a plan and this plan is is for you to be a guide of some sort to younger people that need it okay and time to collaborate this is you bringing ideas together teamwork communication putting the puzzle pieces together with other individuals around you which is lovely right chakra card So I'm just getting the cards out. We'll talk more about it and find out what the guidance is in your situation. You've got despondence. Someone has is desponding to you, I think is the right word. Um, they look at you with that you have it all here Sagittarius they feel as if you have everything and they don't have anything um the feeling here is you need to listen to your inner calling your inner voice and figure out why this person feels like this um it's jealousy and it's difficult for them to understand why you're up there and they're down there and what it is you need to have empathy towards this person because you are listening to your inner voice. You are thinking on your feet and you listen to and guide yourself towards wherever you need to go. This person here is not. They're too interested in what other people are doing instead of thinking about how they want themselves to be. And you are going to go forward in that way no matter what you do there's always that person there's always going to be an individual that will look at you in despondence and just you know show empathy listen to them if they talk and just get on with your life it's your life you do what you want it's not theirs just because they think that you have more than they do which you probably don't you just are able to manage what you have very well and so yeah don't worry about that don't worry about that Parvati Parvati I have to read this one from the book because it's a new deck and they're gorgeous cards but I don't know the meaning yet. So I'm on a learning lesson here with these. <laughs> okay. Parvati 95. It's about goddess of devotion, love and yoga. So yeah, this is kind of your energy at the moment here, Sagittarius, by the looks of it. You pull upon Parvati when you've taken immense action towards becoming your higher self. In Hindu mythology, Parvati was in love with unattainable Shiva, who was deep in the mountains practicing yoga and detached from the material world. She knew he needed the feminine to bring him down to earth, but he was totally inaccessible. Instead of begging and pleading, Parvati decided to come to a higher self and seek enlightenment through yoga. Her family objected, saying women cannot become yogis, but she headed to the mountains anyway, where she stood in a frigid steam stream, balancing on one leg for uncountable months or years. Eventually, Shiva felt her immense energy and felt in love with her because of her strength and determination. Parvati represents commitment to practice, unbreakable willpower and a power of self-transformation. Continue your journey toward enlightenment. Right, after that really bad, I can't speak this morning, obviously. I've run out of words. I do this occasionally, usually because there's a migraine on the way, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so this woman here, against all odds, when people didn't believe in her, they kind of said, you're a woman, you can't do that. Go and go back to the dishes. She was um, relentless and she was, she had the willpower to stand on that one leg and stand in that stream for God knows how many years, months. 
she must have like caught a fish every now and again and sat down to eat it i don't know but the, the, the <laughs> it's this kind of um willpower that's shining through you sagittarius and you are able to show people this is what i'm doing this is how, who i am i am ignoring all the naysayers i'm going forward doing what i want to do take all the bad words away get, just just i'm ignoring you because i'm doing what i want to do and i'm strong in that knowledge okay you are doing so well here sagittarius i'm wow proud of you well done i won't cry i promise <laughs> right let's see what else we got so sagittarius the giveaway Hmm. Give away, give away, let's give away, to give away. Twenty-three. Sorry, it won't be a minute. Twenty. Here we go. Ah, I will get the page. There we go. Right. So the giveaway is the gift you offer to life. Can you see that? Maybe I should put it up. Without attachment, without expecting anything back, you can only give what is truly yours. A smile, a nod of encouragement, a gentle touch and a kind word. This is not giving to others what you no longer want. Like the sweeter that, like the sweater. Maybe I should not do this today. Never mind. Let's keep going. That no longer fits. But gifting that which is most precious, your authentic love and genuine feelings. Okay. So the invitation is make a list of 10 people and things for which you are grateful. Connect with the feeling of gratitude. The giveaway comes to ask you to feel the same gratitude without needing anything or anyone to inspire it. And to share this gratitude with the ones you meet. As you offer thanks, your heart opens and you start realising how much life has given you. You heal your feelings of scarcity and open yourself to the abundance that surrounds you. The giveaway invites you to the flow of life as you give freely and receive freely. Yeah, um, it's talking about um, giving a smile, giving a gift of encouragement without needing anything back for it. Um, we need to know that what we give to another person may not be uh, received back. And this is necessary to kind of put this in a place of not letting it bother us. Um, if you believe in karma, then karma always turns around and says, OK, um, you gave a lot that last time. Um, but then again, you still have that feeling you need to give, not expecting to receive anything back. And this puts you in a good place here, Sagittarius. Um, it's tricky because then you get this issue of some people may take advantage of it. But it's kind of understanding that you can let go of any past. Um, I don't know. If you, if you gave a lot of empathy and trust and respect to an individual, but they didn't give you any back, just shrug it off. Don't worry about it. They'll come back in their own time if they want to. They've got other lessons to learn. That's a different path to yours. And they'll eventually realise once they get to it. All right. The giveaway. Um, I'm going to do your tarot read now. So. I don't know if this is a love reading. I think this is definitely very spiritual so far. It's talking about how to handle things, how to move forward, listening to your inner voice. We've got a lot of despondence from other people here and this is needing to be ignored, especially with the giveaway. Maybe this person of despondence um, you gave a lot to and still they're acting like, oh, you have everything, I have nothing, you know. Um, just ignore it. Um, they'll come around eventually. You have the rainbow here, so you're all the colours, all the colours all at once here, Sagittarius. It's, um, I think it's your month coming up, isn't it? I'm not very good at knowing the dates. I know it was... Hmm. 
oh I don't know my brain's not working today Scorpio's coming up and I think is it Sagittarius that's before Scorpio or am I just making it up okay Sagittarius please Harry Celtic Cross for Sagittarius yeah right so we've got someone here there's no movement no travel and the obstacle to this it's almost like you don't want to move you don't want to travel you don't want to move forward because you're happy where you are now with that you have this princess of swords energy there might be you having a sneak peek at a certain person here trying to gain information about something Maybe it's gaining information about why you want to stand still. Yeah, past energy. Someone was either emotionally manipulating towards you. Someone who's like, oh, yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, I, I can I can see who this is about now. Sagittarius. You're dealing with a, a someone that's going, worries me, worries me, poor me. And you're doing so well and it's not fair. And you have, sorry, I don't mean to sort of slate them. It is, it's just, that's the way you feel at the moment. And the, the spirituality behind this is trying to understand it. Um, now you've got the world card. There's, you've got a big deal of, there's something about travel here. Movement. Now with the world card, you, you hope it comes to an end, this situation, that it doesn't go on, that maybe they'll turn uh, a leaf or turn... Um, into having more courage for themselves maybe this is what the teaching part is about is having the knowledge to let them understand how that it's not poor them they just need to be resilient and to keep on going and not worry about what other people are thinking about them and you they will get there they will get to their own self emotional fulfillment okay I mean, someone who lives in uh, one, a little hut in the woods that's got all they need around them, a fire to keep warm, could be completely happy. And then you can have a billionaire with two yachts and the latest um, <laughs> uh, Elon Musk thing, you know, um, and they're not happy. So money doesn't make you happy. It's how you are in your mind and what you feel is your happy time, where you are, what's your happiness. Um, yeah, we've got the devil in reverse. It's something about removing your fear. It's remove your fear to go forward here. Remove your fear to communicate. Because you see this person with fondness from your past. It's something that you see as a happy person that there was you two people two peas in a pod um but for some reason they feel as if you're getting on better than the other one um for yourself now we've got judgment in reverse and we also have the eight of wands in reverse um you fear that this won't um you fear that this will come back on you like a rebound effect you don't want it to feel as if you're going and not making a decision about it. And with the eight of ones in reverse, it's you've got slow moving energy here. This isn't going to happen overnight. Um, someone just needs encouragement to have confidence within themselves to move forward to, with you. Um, they You have the, the kind of emotional fulfillment to say, yeah, no matter what happens, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. You know, I'm going to keep on going as I am. And uh, I know what I have and I appreciate and have gratitude for what I have. But I don't feel as if um, I need any more. I'm quite happy. But you have someone who looks like they've had some bad luck. And they what they do is they kind of manifest their own bad luck in a way because they are always negative. They're always looking on the negative side of life. Um near future you're you're gonna go and see this person you're gonna revisit the past and it's 
yeah there's they've got three cards of travel here so it could be they're traveling towards you but it's there's definitely a meet up they see you as someone who's repaired your broken heart they understand that you went through something in the past you repaired it and you moved on you kind of said you know what i'm good i can get on with things now so Sagittarius, if you're in this energy of poor me, if you're this person and this whole tarot reading, these oracle cards are here to encourage you to move forward with this. Ignore that energy. It's not good for you. It just takes you lower and lower and lower to the ground. Um, it's the strength and courage that you need to pick yourself off the ground and to move forward and have gratitude and understand we all have bad days Sagittarius so don't see this as um, something that is permanent this is just you trying to fight your way through understanding why it is the way it is okay I'm gonna do an, I can't I can never say this properly Lenormand Lenormand spread now, I love these cards and they put things into practicality for me. We had three cards of travel. So you're traveling, traveling, traveling. Maybe you want to move, but you don't want to. Who knows? Um, but let's have a look. Christmas is coming up. So I'm guessing that's why we're getting a lot of thinking about traveling, travel cards, you know, all that kind of good stuff. There's a lot of um, six of cups energy revisiting the past seeing old reunions this kind of thing and also if you think with covid we haven't been able to see our loved ones you know the the, the distance re distant distant relatives and yeah so this is going to be an interesting year for christmas i think everyone's going to be going back revisit okay what do we got you boo you've got the snake why have we got the snake okay yeah challenges you have a snake that's going to cause you a challenge here someone that's trying to trip you up trying to test you someone who is tricking you into doing something you shouldn't do and here you have cut Yeah, really watch out for this person because they're going to, either you're cutting them out from your life. But there's, it's past energy. Someone tricked you in the past energy, which brought you extra challenges in your present circumstances. This is coming to an end with the scythe. I feel as if um, this is no longer going to happen. You've got something here. This is for Sagittarius, please. You've got a message. Could have been past energy. Message about your home here. Oh, lovely. You've got a bouquet of flowers with that. So maybe there's a message coming towards your home today, next week, in the month. And it's going to be a gift. It's going to be an apology, a thank you note. Again, Christmas is coming up. We're all getting Christmas cards. We're all getting messages from the past. Um, very generic so far. Hang on, let's see if there's anything in particular. Oh, another message. This is a rider. So this is someone that comes with good news, good luck. Okay, we have a compass, a star here, not a compass, a star. Wow, okay. Now for you singlies, or a couple, who cares? Um, you hope to receive a message from a young man. Now the Lenormand deck is telling you it's going to happen. So if it does happen, congratulations. If it doesn't, 
Um, if I see this as a whole story, I want to say the message is coming to your home for sure. Um, I mean, how else would it get to you, to be fair? And <laughs> I'm not the best tarot reader, am I? Le Norman reader. Um, <laughs> But there is this, there's falsity when it comes to an individual. I don't think it's anything to do with this young man here. But um, it caused you a lot of problems. It caused you a lot of um, headaches. It caused you um, problems. And you cut this person out. You went, see you later. But there's a message coming to your home about an apology from this snake here. Okay. What I see here is because you've had hope upon a star um, and you have this lovely card here, which is about good luck messages from another young man that is good to you. So you have a message of this person here that's coming towards you, looking at you and feeling hope, having hope towards you. Um, so it looks good. It looks good. I like it. Right. What else should we do? Now, I had a freaky archetype reading this morning. I put it on my Facebook group. If you'd like to um, join my Facebook group where I put in live shows. I was meant to do one last night. I know. I'm so sorry. But um, usually they're Tuesday. Tuesday live starts at eight o'clock. And if you want, like, promotions, offers, just, you know, who's on it. People review on there, review their own personal readings that they've had from me and uh, see what their replies are. And, um, yeah, we'll go with that. So, Sagittarius, please. We've got the river. A shapeshifter. Okay, I'm going to take them. The kiss, the ocean, the unseen, the underworld, medallion, the gem, the animal, the heart and the flame. Now that's quite a few. Let's use quite a few cards. Okay. Now, for one person in particular, I think this story is for. So if you did like this reading, please do like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Um, and thank you if you already have and you've already subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, means a lot to me. Um, so for this individual Sagittarian that I want to speak to about this, um, I will start now. Something is flowing your way, Sagittarius, and it's to do with someone offering a kiss of some kind. Um, and it leads to an ocean of opportunities this kiss will give you. The shapeshifter is here. So there's an unseen issue coming to hand that this person will give. And it's to do with their demons, to do with their underworld. But they have um, a gift for you. They, you. You are unable to know about this. It's like someone who has a crush on you, but it's, it's a little bit more than a crush. Um, there's, yeah, they, they have demons of their own, but they're offering you a gift Um to say, you know, I really do like you here. Yeah, we've got the heart one here and we also have the animal, the flame. So there's a lot of attraction between the two of you with the heart and the animal and the flame. Um, again, another gift, the gem. Um, I have um, a proposal here. I have someone, this is all good stuff. I feel as if someone is understanding how much you mean to them and they're going to offer you something. So if you're in um, a relationship and there could be a proposal here. Christmas is coming up. Great time to propose, I suppose. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sagittarians. Take care. Bye.